With each punch, this Afghan boxer deals a blow to misogyny. Sadaf Rahimi trains in a stadium where the Taliban used to carry out executions when in power before the U.S.-led invasion of 2001. During that time, Afghan women had no rights. Since the fall of the regime, things have improved, but there's still a long way to go. My aunt is still against my boxing career. She says girls are supposed to sit at home and take care of the family. But my response is that girls shouldn't sit at home when they can compete with men and go abroad for competitions and bring medals to Afghanistan. The 19-year-old is something of an exception in a Muslim country where women in sport remains taboo for some. She made her debut in the ring seven years ago, inspired by boxing champions like Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali's daughter, Leila. Sadaf has been training hard ever since, despite the lack of facilities. In the future, I want to be a famous boxer, train boxers and have my own boxing club. Since such places are not provided for me in Afghanistan, as of now, I just want to be a good competitor. Sadaf has had a success of sorts, winning several bronze medals in regional competitions and dreams of making it to the Olympics. But the Afghan Boxing Federation's resources are limited and need to be shared between the 20 women in its ranks. If they were encouraged, I would guarantee you that Sadaf, 100%, would win medals at the Olympics. But there's no encouragement for these girls. If we find gloves, we won't find boots, and so on. Sadaf was outboxed in February's South Asian Games in India, crushing her hopes of making it to Rio this year. But she's determined to fight on, both in and outside the ring.